Hi guys, it's Peter the Jason Siegel and Scott Pilgrim fan here. And uh, tonight's video, I'm going to be doing another salute video. Now, this salute video, along with Sons of Anarchy, Nothing to Lose, and Mr. Bean, were requested by Bradson fan, the Terminator fan. Anyways, guys, tonight's salute video is going to be on Insidious. Anyways, guys, here we go. Insidious, wow. This is a good horror movie series. I'm going to be going through my rankings for all of the movies right now. Starting off with Insidious from 2010. This movie is a is a, a very is a very good horror movie, very good uh, first entry in the series. It features some fantastic directing from uh, Australian director James Wan, who also directed uh, did uh, Furious Seven. And this movie has a fantastic cast, including Patrick Wilson, who also starred in movies like Little Children. What? Lakeview Terrace and a Watchman. He would also go on to uh, star in The Conjuring, another horror movie series. And this movie also features a fantastic performance from uh, Rose Byrne, who also starred in movies like Knowing from 2009, Get Him to the Greek from 2010, X. X-Men First Class, and uh, Bridesmaids, and my favourite movie of all time, Bridesmaids, which I've got the poster of right here, in case you guys haven't seen it. And uh, anyways, this is a good horror movie, perfect introduction. Overall, it's going to get a two, second place on my ranking list. Next up, we have Insidious Chapter 2. Now, this is a good en entry in the series. It's alright, it's fantastic, I mean, Patrick Wilson and Rose Byrne still do good in this, and uh, James Wan is back in the director's chair, he overall does a fantastic job directing this, overall, I actually quite enjoyed it, it is going to get a 3 on my ranking list, next up we have Insidious Chapter 3, now, this movie features an alright cast, including Dermot Mulroney, who also played uh, Wayne Bailey in uh, Scream 6. And uh, this movie, okay, it's not really one of my favourite Insidious movies, but it still but it slaps, alright? Alright, no chapter 2, but this movie still slaps. And uh, because of that, it's going to get a fourth place on my ranking list. Next up, we have Insidious, The Last Key. Okay, this is a decent movie. It's alright. It is, um, it's enjoyable. Not the best Insidious movie, in my opinion, but it still slaps. It's alright movie, and it's going to get a fifth place on my ranking list. It's still, still a good movie, in fact. Still good. And last but not least, we have the mo the most recent movie, Insidious, The Red Door. I like how Patrick Wilson is back for this uh, movie to star in it, and he also direct and he also directs, believe it or not. And I quite like the uh, return of uh, Rose Byrne in this. And uh, yeah, anyways, this is going to get first place on my ranking list, and uh, this movie. He's actually got a uh, honourable mention in my best movies of 2023 list. And I was originally going to go see this movie, but unfortunately, I didn't get round to it. And uh, anyways, this is gonna, still going to get a one on my first place on my ranking list. Overall, very good. Uh, overall, good horror movie series. Anyways, do you know who likes these movies? Me. This is a fantastic. Is a good horror movie series. This movie, for Insidious Sides on my. Chapter first and then chapter two, as well as the Red Door, they feature some fantastic performances from uh, Patrick Wilson and Rose Byrne, both of whom do fantastic in this. I didn't really like I didn't like chapter three and the last key, but they were still good, and I still enjoyed watching them. Anyways, these movies are scary. These movies are enjoyable. These movies are entertaining. These movies are good, and these movies are are for the most part good. Anyways, do you know who does not like and or hates these movies? Well, nobody that I know of, so Insidious Rocks, and so does The Conjuring.